Hello my soccer universe, yes the international break is upon us and for a few nations it's quite a decisive international break, yeah the last three World Cup spots will be decided and five teams, only two of these five will actually make it and for the last slot I don't have any jerseys yet. Gotta say uh, it's coming a little bit too fast this international break for me, I would have honestly loved a week break but hey so be it we'll get through it as well uh i also you know i will now focus here on world cup qualifying but um and then i'll talk about a few interesting games that come in the first few um days of the nations league yeah nations league is also all around we need to talk about because there are a few interesting games as well i in some ways maybe argue even int more interesting than World Cup qualifying but again for World Cup qualifying there's something real at stake more than just uh, pride. Wearing Switzerland just because I literally I went through the games that are coming in the Nations League to fill up the remaining slots and yeah I uh, added a few things here and there but you know there's no there's not really much rhyme or reason to how I did the choosing here. Um, let's start uh, with the World Cup qualifiers and of course we have one last European spot to decide and it's on Wednesday 1st of June at 8.45 we have probably the virus qualifying game between Scotland and Ukraine where yes Scotland will definitely enjoy their home field advantage. Uh, however even when playing at home you kind of have the feeling that you're the bad guys because you play in Ukraine that everyone will be rooting for. It, it must be so, 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 so weird. Even if you're a Scottish fan, you want to show your support to, 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 to Ukrainians, but then you want to beat them. It, it will be a weird game in many ways, I would say. It's uh, almost an impossible game for me to call. Um, I would say that Homeful Advantage will speak for Scotland. And honestly, I would love to see a Wales-Scotland final uh for the final spot just because of you know two british uh, uh, uh yeah two british nations going against each other that would be fun on the other side ukraine is just too good of a story i would say that ukraine probably of the three remaining teams under normal circumstances are probably the most um talented squad there uh, however i don't know the one thing is that i think since many of the, I, I don't know how, 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 how many, but the uh, English season ended relatively recently. So I'm not sure how much time Scotland has to prepare, whereas the Ukrainian national team have been training and preparing for quite a while. So uh, I honestly think it's a toss up between those two. And then whoever wins that one will play against Wales on Sunday. Wales themselves who have a at the same time, imagine a Nations League against Poland. Hence, <laughs> I put a Poland there uh, to kind of maybe even things out because otherwise this would be really so much geared towards um, towards the uh, towards the Welsh uh, there. While we are in Europe, let's look at also a few interesting games in the Nations League coming up. I don't have yet the graphic because I literally have no time to prepare it. I really hope that by the weekend I have something and we can talk about it a, 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 a little bit. But you know, uh, we have on the second a big one between Spain and Portugal. That looks uh, quite uh, interesting. Serbia and Norway could be also at the same time. Um, then we have on the third, we have uh, France playing Denmark. And of course, the uh, new Austrian national team coach, Ralf Rangnick, uh, has his debut in Croatia. Um, and also Belgium, Netherlands. So I think there are quite some interesting games happening on the second and the third that are well worth our time. However, I want to continue with the World Cup qualifying. Um, because we also have the international intercontinental playoffs and you know this is now i mean we have ways to go but i just want to mention it we have that uh the winner of the asian uh playoff uh this will be determined in a week on the june 7th and then they have another week to, to prepare uh for the match against peru so we have australia uh playing then peru and then a day later so this is almost in yeah more or less in two weeks from now with Costa Rica and New Zealand meeting for the last spot. So we have the first European spot, uh, the last European spot decided well before the other two, which is also interesting. So yeah, that's it for me for previewing this international break. As I said, it comes a little bit too fast for my liking, but hey, so be it. I always enjoy national teams.
enjoyed the new jerseys coming out. I think Puma did over an excellent job, although I one reason why I pulled the Switzerland jersey because the new Switzerland away is very similar to this one, although I still think that this is uh, the way better design. Uh, but there are some really, really nice jerseys coming out from Puma as well. Uh, even the Italy jersey, I actually really like the last one for uh, the, for uh, the long time Puma, um, you know, stalwart in many ways. So yeah, but that's for a different video. Uh, when we look at those, I don't know if I have the time or whatever. I'm gonna slow it down now with the videos for the next few, uh, for the next two months until the season start up again. In any case, please let, let, let me know who you think will qualify from, from Europe. I think it's geared more or less towards Wales. Uh, although I think that the Ukrainian squad will would overall be the most uh, talented to tell me one and also how do you see the Nations League and are you similar to me that's a little bit too too close now this international break. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!